Hello YouTube, I hope everybody is doing great. Today I'm reviewing the 7 inch display from Banggood. It is an IPS display and has capacitive touch. Now let me demo it first connected to my old Sony laptop which is very noisy. I'm not working with it anymore. So, and then I will show you the hardware itself. So as you can see, right now I have the screen mirrored and um, it is touch screen. And you can obviously, if I hit it right, <laughs> open the folders and it works as a touch screen. To get the right button click you when you click on the screen you get a shadow of a mouse and if you click the right button it opens the right button so let me hopefully be able to show it to you without reflecting my forehead too much so when you click on an empty space you see a shadow of a two of a mouse with two buttons maybe I should have chosen another background but once it's open you see how it looks like and then you have your regular right click button and it is it has a resolution of let me really look at it really quick 124 by 600 and as i said it's a 7 inch display ips and uh, I mean it looks really really awesome and I cannot complain about it and even if I oh, when I normally use glasses I can see it without glasses perfectly so the icons are not that small and it is perfectly usable and here I'm using Windows 7 on this laptop and um, Yes, it will be, whenever I get to it, my touch controller for my CNC lathe. That's why I wanted to have a smaller screen, to not have to deal with the laptop on which Mac 3 is installed and will work. And I didn't want to use a mouse, I wanted to use a touch screen. So let me unplug it and then we go into seeing the display let me close this up and unplug it <laughs> as you heard it stopped because the batteries are dead and uh, normally I shut it down correctly but today we are going it the hard way so this is how it looks like from the front display not much so here you have the back let me start from this side you have the HDMI connector you have a micro USB for touch and micro USB for power if you don't want to use the touch screen if you just want it to use as a regular display you can power it by with this on this side and if you do want to use a touch screen, you power it by this and connect it to your PC or laptop uh, USB port. You have an audio output, 3.5 mm audio jack. And you have also a mini HDMI port that you can use instead of the big one. And you have an additional output. Now I have to look around the phone. Uh, additional speaker output with... Uh, stereo speaker output with two watts per channel and here you have them i might plug it back in to show you the the menus here you have a power button you have a menu button up button down button and exit button so i did a did this a little bit hastily i guess so let me actually go back and um let me see if i so I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna be back showing you the video, I mean the menu. 
Okay, I'm back. So let's go to the buttons. The top one is a power button, which does exactly what it says. It turns it off and on. And then you have the menu button. I'm feeling it right now with brightness, control, saturation. And then you have the language option, H position, Y position, OSD timeout and transparency. And then you have a reset, display ratio, blue screen. And um, what was that? The mode. <clears throat> and then you have also a volume button for the speakers that you can connect to. And that is basically it. So I think everything that the monitor should have, it does have. And you can also... If you're not going into menu, you can adjust the volume with the up and down buttons here on the side. So, and this is the menu. Uh, overall, I really do like this display. It has nice mounting holes. I will mount it probably behind a piece of carbon fiber to make it look nice. And... Um, if you do have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I will put the link to it into the description. And if you like, you can order it there. If you use my link, I do get a small commission. And I also have other links to my other items from Banggood. And I would appreciate if you go through them, if you look through them. And there's also, of course, a general link that you can click and then whatever you choose. Uh, it will help me out a little bit with the video and the reviews. You can also um, go to my Tindy store and look around if you see something that you like there. And you can also buy me a cup of coffee via PayPal. And of course, if you do like the video, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell for future videos. This is all for today. Thank you for watching and uh, take care.